Okay, in this next training, we want to go through Google search, a pre-launch checklist. This is before you launch your campaigns, a quick checklist to double check everything to make sure you're ready to launch and you didn't forget anything critical that would cost you a lot of money uh, once the ad starts, starts going. So we'll go through uh, the pre-launch checklist. This is for Google search campaigns. Uh, we have other ones if you're launching different campaigns, but for a Google search campaign, this is going to be all the things you're going to want to check before you hit enable and go live with your ads. So let's just go through the uh, pre-launch checklist now. So the campaign settings is where you want to start. And you'll just start from uh, the beginning, the location settings, make sure it's set for people located in your location. That's uh, presence is how it's set up inside Google. It just says people located in the locate in your location. It's uh, the default is people located in or interested in your location. Most of the time you don't want that. You want people that actually live physically in the location you're targeting the, the radius of your shop your service area, the city, state, uh, United States, whatever country you're targeting, it, it's people that live there, not that uh, searched about it one time recently. Uh, also daily budget, make sure $30 a day, $100 a day, whatever your daily budget is supposed to be, you have it at the correct amount, uh, not a dollar or whatever you had it up uh, during setup. So just make sure it's the actual number you wanna spend. The schedule, um, most of the time you leave this on the default, the 24 seven, but if you have strict business hours, you know, you want to do eight through five Monday through Friday, you know, make sure someone's there to answer the phone live. Uh, if you have a strict schedule, make sure you have that in place because it's going to default to 24 seven. Otherwise your bidding setting, uh, we recommend doing manual bidding. Uh, it, it says manual CPC inside Google, uh, even if you want to do automation, most of the time Google needs some data before it can optimize for conversions or target CPA. Uh, I mean, you could do maximize clicks right away because it's just going to try to get as many clicks as possible uh, if that's your goal. But I mean, most of the time you're going for conversions and sales. So uh, you'll, you'll just do, you'll manually set your bid and you can switch it to automation later. Uh, you can permanently leave it on manual too. That is an option. Next, you'll make sure your conversion tracking is set up. Uh, we have this in, uh, we recommend doing Google Analytics. So that's inside the Google Analytics and tracking section for setting this up. Uh, Google Ads does have its own tracking setup pixel that uh, you can set up inside of there. It's, it's a pretty straightforward setup. Uh, we like to do Google Analytics. That way, if you're doing multiple marketing efforts, you're also doing maybe social media, you're doing SEO, uh, if you're doing traditional marketing as well, you have all the data in one place so you can compare, okay, how did Google do compared to Microsoft Bing ads? Or you're running Facebook ads and Google ads and you're doing SEO and maybe print at the same time. You, you wanna know where the calls are coming from, where the new clients, are coming from uh, where the new sales are coming from. So we recommend Google Analytics, but um, if you do Google Ads, whichever it is, make sure conversion tracking is set up. Otherwise, you don't know where your conversions are coming from. Uh, you're you're kind of running the campaign blind and you, you don't know your ROI. So don't launch until conversion tracking is set up. So this training video is actually going to be a sample from our actual training program so you can get a better idea of what's in here, uh, what we offer. Some of these are more uh, beginner lessons and they'll go into more advanced. So if you need more advanced training, uh, we do have a link below in the description that will give you access to uh, discounts and different things like that from our advanced training and all of our different programs. That's going to be a link down in the description below. The ad rotation setting, uh, we talked more about that in the optimizing ads video, but uh, most of the time you'll you'll set it to not optimize, to not rotate it. That just means you're gonna do it manually. So switch that setting off the default so you have full control over it. Uh, unless for some reason you wanted to optimize everything, 
uh, you'll you'll do your ad rotation setting to not optimize, which means just don't rotate. Uh, you decide when you do it manually. The other option, campaign URL options. This is a little bit lower. Um, this is very advanced. If you have a CRM or third-party tracking software or third-party tools, you'll know what this is. It gives you the URL tracking parameters that you cut and paste. It's all that extra stuff at the very end of the URL. It starts with a question mark, has all the uh, ampersands or and symbols in there, and it just it's this really long string of um, of tracking it, tracking parameters. It's usually for a CRM. If you use Salesforce or Zoho, Infusionsoft, something like that. Um, it, if you have no idea what that is, then you don't need to set up campaign URL options. It, you, you'll know if your CRM or your uh, third-party PPC tools do that, and the instructions will be in there. You can add at the usually at the campaign level, sometimes the account level. But if you do need that, make sure it's set up so your CRM or, or whatever else has all the data it needs. Some other settings to look at, uh, just double check your ad group bids. I mean, that's the, the highest level of your bid settings. So they're all set up to uh, whatever you want them as to start as. Uh, you can usually start low and just see if you get any volume and then increase it. Uh, or you can start it really high if you wanna make sure you get volume right away and then lower it later. Uh, just kinda depends on your budget and um, things like that. Next, you want to check your keyword bids. Usually you'll just have them as the default. You don't need to do anything. They're the same as your ad group bids to start out with. So whatever you set your ad group bid as, it defaults all keywords are the same bid. Usually that's how you start and then you adjust it later depending on performance. Uh, negative keywords, this is critical to do them in advance. Uh, we have a lot more advanced training in other sections on, on how to do heavy negative keyword research block out negative keywords in advance and have a very large pre-built uh, negative keyword list before you even launch. So you're, you're blocking out those negative keywords before you even go live and you don't waste any money on that. But the basic training, uh, that, that's a good way to get started. Just make sure the negative keywords are in there before you go live uh, so you don't waste money on irrelevant clicks. Uh, review all your ads, just proofread all of them. You don't want a typo in there. Uh, make sure they go to the right URL, your, your landing page or wherever you have set up. The URL works. It's not a broken link. Uh, your landing page has all the correct info on it. Just it, it seems really simple, but just double check your ads. Make sure you didn't type something incorrectly. And also uh, review all your ad extensions. Same thing. Just make sure there's not a typo. Make sure you have ad extensions. Uh, you remembered to add them. All the site links go the right place. There's no typos. Um, you have your call extension if you're trying to get more phone calls. Just things like that. Make sure that they're all in there and you didn't miss anything. It, it seems uh, overly simple to, to put everything together and then read it, but it, it's just like when you send an important email or you do a report or something like that. You just want to proofread it. Sometimes you miss things when you're going through the setup especially with spending money on advertising and you really need the ROI to work out to help grow your business, to get more leads, more calls, more sales. Uh, this is just so important to not make a silly mistake or have a typo, or your ad goes to a broken link or something like that. So you just wanna go through this entire checklist before you hit enable and before you go live. Just double check all the simple things Make sure all this is in here so you, you don't waste money on, on simple mistakes that were easily avoidable. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching our PPC ads training video. Uh, if you want more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, like this video if you found it useful. And any questions, post them in the comments down below. Uh, we also have additional training in the description. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.